being a bit lighter and bit slimmer, using the new iPad Pro is very similar to the original model. There is a slight and subtle variance in the appearance of colors. This may be related to the newer display features, such as the wide color P3 display versus the sRGB standard display. The best feature of the newer iPad, in my opinion, is the sidecar function. Pairing the iPad Pro with a compatible device makes working on large projects seamless. Bookkeeping, video editing, and stock trading can be made easier with the extra visual space. iPad M4 takes clearer photos with better exposure control. Pencil enhances the creative experience. Switching between tools quickly, knowing where your pencil will fall exactly, and the haptic feedback confirmations make for a surprisingly natural feeling human and machine collaboration. Other than the ease of tool switching without tapping the pencil to screen, the drawing and pencil as cursor experience are very similar between models. Working on the two iPads side by side illuminated the lag I would sometimes experience when drawing with the original pencil on the first gen model iPad. As an email or internet surfing tablet, the two models operate very much alike. One could happily stick with the first gen as long as the performance is close to original and you're not experiencing unpredictable timeouts waiting for the iPad to save documents or images during your workflow. is a concern, the transition to the M4 iPad may be a good idea, as max capacity is 2 terabytes versus only 256 gigabytes on the first gen. Glad I traded into the newer model, though I would happily continue using my first gen if needed. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.